Well, welcome back up to Trinity's Tower for another edition of The View From Here. Today, I have a chance to be up here with my friend Brad Stiles. One of the, you know, Brad, one of the great things about my job is I get to make friends with great people like you, you know, and, and, and meet great people like you. So, welcome to the top of the tower at Trinity as we're looking out over the city. Uh, Brad is on the board of the United Negro College Fund as one of the things that helps promote the life within our community. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, first of all, thank you so much for inviting me up here. The view from the top of Trinity English Lutheran is absolutely gorgeous and uh, gives me a whole new aspect of our community, our city. Uh, just to answer uh, the question, you know, I'm here this morning or this afternoon, actually, to, you know, advocate on behalf of uh, UNCF, the United Negro College Fund. It's an organization I've been involved with for about the past decade. Mm -hmm. And we're just really in the community to help identify uh, students that can benefit from uh, college scholarships and uh, you know, advocating for those students and, and looking to build relationships with uh, beneficiaries, benefactors. Mm -hmm. uh, is the tagline for UNCF still, a mind is a terrible thing to waste? Yes, that's a tagline we're all familiar with. A mind yeah. is a terrible thing to waste. Yeah. Now, they've slightly a, a, adapted that tagline to say it's a terrible thing to waste. A mind is a terrible thing to waste, but a wonderful thing to invest in. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I, I was about 25 years old. I hate to say how long ago that was. And I met this woman in Washington, D.C., who was involved in a swimming program for inner city kids in, in the Washington DC area and I remember one of the things she used to say to me and I never really thought about this even as a kid that how many kids were of genius mentality that she had running through her programs and how so often you know we categorize people in ways that we miss the skills and the benefits and the gifts that God gives to us through these people because we're too narrow-minded absolutely and being involved with UNCF I mean it really gives me an appreciation for uh, you know, investing in our young people, to give them the opportunity to develop their skills and their talents to the best of their ability. That they're not limited by their, you know, their their finances or their okay. parents' ability to pay. That they're only limited by their ambition. And, you know, if you give, you know, a young person an opportunity, you know, there's no telling what they can pursue and what they can contribute to the community. Yeah, yeah. How do you all identify kids? How do you find them? <laughs> I, mean, <that's laughs> I mean, that's a crazy question. Isn't it? How do you find a kid? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, the way we identify uh, candidates for scholarship is we go through a competitive screening process. So the, the, the scholarships are uh, competitive by nature. And uh, then we identify the unmet need. So we're really trying to uh, you know, identify students that are deserving and have the ability to uh, pursue a college education and then trying to give them the resources that they need in order to fulfill that goal. Sure, sure, sure. How many kids here in Fort, how long has, has the program been running here in Fort Wayne? We've been in Fort Wayne for just over a decade, probably since about 2004, 2005. Right, so I've been involved with them for about the past decade. The number of students that we've you know, helped in that period of time uh, it's been 72. Now some of those are you know, full term or full, full uh, yeah, term college um, periods. Yeah, four year, four year. Yeah, four year uh, commitments. And some have been, you know, as needed. But we've reached about 72 students wow. here in our community. Wow. You know, Thanks. some stories that, you know, come to mind for me are those students that, you know, perhaps were, you know, near um, the end of their college career and ran out of funding. And they need someone to step in and, you know, pay that last tuition bill, or provide those, you know, those resources to help them make it to the end of their, you know, educational journey. Uh, you know, to have someone that has, again, their whole lives, ahead, their whole life ahead of them, and then to, you know, feel as though they're not going to quite make it. That's a, a difficult position to be in. And you know, as a uh, you know, a supporter of UNCF, I like to think that we're there for those students to make sure that they're able to, you know, reach, reach the end of their journey, that, that goal that they're looking to attain. It's amazing. 
Now you're you're local, right? You grew up in Fort Wayne, is that correct? Yes, I am a Fort Wayne native. For uh... <laughs> we won't have. You don't have to hear that. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. <laughs> um, what it, what's happened? What it, in the time that since growing up here, I think you had a four way to the Marines. Is that correct? Yes, yeah, I went to the that. Marine Corps. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, what what's changed in Fort Wayne over these years? You know, it's really. Yeah, you know, I will say it. This point in time it's really exciting to see everything that's going on in Fort Wayne I mean there is so much visibly noticeable in you know the the downtown investment this the, the uh, beginning of riverfront you know investment so it's really uh, you know a lot is physically changed changing in our community uh, the community itself I would say is is you know pretty much the same as it always has been I mean we have a great community you know very uh, you know, great people. Uh, you know, I believe Fort Wayne's de best days are ahead, and uh, you know, we it's do too. To <laughs> yeah, we do too. We do too. We do too. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we're, we're here. Up, we're up here. We're able to look out over the city. We can walk around. We're able to see various things. Uh, uh, what do you kind of, you know, as we stand here? What do you kind of? What would you hope for? That is a. Tough question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I hope to see a, a city that continues to strive to be the best that it can be. Um, like I said, we have a wonderful community, and it's exciting to see all the uh, you know investment and all the the uh, you know changes that are occurring. Uh, but I also like to say that you know we know we can do better. You know, we have uh, you know areas in our community that that do need to. Uh, you know, not be overlooked and, uh, you know, be a, more of a forethought than an afterthought. So, you know, I'm excited about everything that's going on in Fort Wayne and I, you know, I'm excited to be a part of, you know, that change and just look forward to, you know, realizing a, you know, a uh, healthy and, and uh, wonderful community. Yeah. You know, I know, I know you're a, I know you're a churchly person. I know you're, you're, you go to church. I mean, I like to think of myself as a churchly person sometimes. <laughs> I mean, we're here in our, in our church here. Um, what do you think, though, the role of a church in the community, you know, for some of the work that you do, the things that you see in the community, the, the people you interact with, what do you, what do you imagine is the role of the church? Now, I see the role of the church is to really be, you know, a leader in the community, to be that, that conscience of the community, the moral morality of the community. Uh, you know, the church is really a, uh, you know, it's a gathering place and, you know, it's a resource to people in their best of times and, you know, in their worst of times. And, you know, I would, again, see the role of the church as being that leader and that moral conscience of our community. We're up here. What are what do you think? I mean, anything in particular you'd like to say, offer? I just like to encourage people. You know, I think, you know, I, I, I fundamentally believe that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. You know, I believe as, uh, you know, John Kennedy said, you know, everyone can make a difference, you know, and, and we should all try. You know, so I'm, you know, I guess a, you know, community advocate. Yeah, and I like to, you know, get involved and show up to, you know, as many community events as I can. And just to be, you know, that, that advocate, that supporter, that encourager. Just this past weekend, we know we heard a spectacular story of, of a benefactor at Morehouse College saying to all of those guys down there, you know, I, I want to relieve you of your student debt. But in some ways, you, you all, are doing that and have been doing not relieving everybody all of their debt but making possible sure. that that same school kind of thing right? you may not show up in the news <laughs> you may not sound quite so special which and that was a tremendous gift uh, but to, in uh, in ways other ways that people make possible this kind of generosity yeah. to you know for kids to achieve their dreams yeah, absolutely and that was a wonderful uh, feel-good moment you know, for uh, Robert Smith to, you know, offer that, you know, 
opportunity to those students down there. And, and you know, I'll say that we have a student from Fort Wayne, Indiana that was in the graduating class uh, really? over the weekend, but is attending Morehouse, uh, you know, university. So, uh, you know, it does make a connection, you know, for uh, us here in Fort Wayne as well. I would encourage all students to go out to uncf.org. That's uncf.org. And just look to see what's available, uh, you know, on the website. You know, UNCF administers over 400 scholarships. So the scholarship we have here in Fort Wayne is specifically identified for Fort Wayne students, and that's under the Fort Wayne Scholarship Program. But there's numerous, like I said, over 400 scholarships that UNCF uh, administers. So go out to the uh, uncf dot, <laughs> uncf dot org, find you know the scholarship uh, uh, tab and just explore and see what's available out there. Brad, it's it's great to to be able to host you back up here on our tower and to have you join me up here. Thanks so much for coming out. Thanks for so much for what you do in our community uh, to make it a better place and to open up opportunities to people who might not always have that. It's great to be with you. It's great to be with all of you again with the view from here. Thank you.